why is it we tend to say some things about Islam and Muslims and not others? We need to recognize in the first place the existence of what I call the anti-Islam discourse. Why this image of these men might be more typical than perhaps this image. And it's clear from reading his speeches and the comments of his aides, his cabinet, and his supporters that they really did see themselves engaged in a sort of religious war between Islam on the one hand and the West on the other. Many textbooks of history of science around the world give very little attention or very only passing attention to the wonderful and powerful and unavoidable conclusion that Muslim science was extremely important in the foundation of Western science. There is no one Islam, but when it comes to social policy, when it comes to political action, when it comes to a whole range of social and political activities, Islam does not have a definitive opinion in any sense. We have a yardstick in Catholicism, okay? The church, the Pope says this, real life Catholics in Brazil and America and Ireland do that. And so we have a, mit, a yardstick, a baseline. Um, in Islam, we don't have that. But in fact, Islam is incredibly rich and varied in its interpretations and its applications. It's hard to make an ironclad religious uh, argument based solely in the Quran that all women, all Muslim women should veil. It, the few references to veiling in the Quran really have to do with the wives of the prophet. So then the question becomes, does the best practice of the wives of the prophet naturally extend to all Muslim women? And so there are many attempts to centralize and standardize Islamic belief, but they have gone nowhere and I suspect they always will go nowhere because in fact, one of Islam's greatest strengths is its flexibility. <laughs> a series of public opinion surveys carried out across the Muslim world to asking men and women in different groups to order the most significant issues in their, the, the top 10 concerns they have and then comparing those with top 10 concerns of Europeans and Americans. They're almost identical, healthcare, educational opportunity for their children, jobs and financial security, the sort of cultural stuff like veils or religious freedom or some of these issues we see in America about whether gays can use certain bathrooms are way down the list. And so Khomeini, who we see in the West as a political radical for creating the Islamic Republic was in fact a religious radical. He completely upended traditional notions of Shiism to create this political system. And most serious religious scholars in Iran do not approve of the Islamic system. How do you become sympathetic to the context in which you are reporting? This is a challenge for journalists in any foreign situation. Um, News Decoder, its purpose is really to help young people explore uh, different perspectives and discover uh, different ways of seeing things, different viewpoints. And I think uh, that's precisely what you've done today, Jonathan, which is to help uh, help some of us who are not as knowledgeable as you are about um, the Muslim world, about some of the subtleties and the, and the need to uh, the need to empathize really.